Welcome to our journey into America's jails. Did you know the USA has more people in jail than any other country? But what's it really like inside? We'll share the most interesting facts about the jails in the USA. Get ready for a gripping exploration into the heart of America's criminal justice system. Number one, the dreaded depths of ADX. Florence, a living nightmare. Prepare to descend into the depths of despair as we uncover the chilling reality of ADX Florence, known as the Alcatraz of the Rockies. This fortress of fear houses the most notorious and dangerous criminals in the federal prison system, where even the toughest of souls tremble at the thought of confinement within its walls. Imagine spending 23 hours a day locked away in solitary confinement with nothing but your own thoughts for company. Inmates at ADX, Florence endure this torment isolated from the world and stripped of their humanity. The silence is deafening, broken only by the occasional echo of despair. But the true horror lies in the relentless vigilance of the guards who patrol these corridors of despair. With the strictest security measures in place, escape from ADX. Florence is a fool's errand. High-tech surveillance and razor wire fences create an impenetrable barrier, trapping inmates in a living hell from which there is no escape. In the shadow of the Rocky Mountains, ADX, Florence stands as a monument to mankind's capacity for cruelty. For those condemned to its depths, there is no escape from the darkness that pervades every inch of this fortress of fear. Enter if you dare, but beware, once you step through those gates, you may never leave. Number two, San Quentin, where fear reigns supreme. Now prepare yourself to step into the heart of darkness as we unveil the chilling reality of San Quentin State Prison. Nestled on the shores of California, this lockup has earned its reputation as one of the most noted penitentiaries in the nation. A lot of times the guy who's doing the stabbing doesn't want to do this, but he's forced into doing these things. Inside its big scary walls, San Quentin is filled with a dangerous buzz. It's too crowded, making people inside very angry and leading to scary fights. Gangs are the bosses, spreading fear like a bad poison, taking away any hope and making it a place of terror. And uh, basically if any goes down, all the shot callers get together to have a, <laughs> have a shot caller meeting. But it's not just inmates who live in constant fear at San Quentin. Guards patrol the cell blocks with a watchful eye. Ever vigilant for signs of unrest, the threat of riots hangs heavy in the air a powder keg waiting to ignite at the slightest provocation. San Quentin is like a pressure cooker ready to explode. You never know when things are going to boil over, and when they do, it's chaos. You either join a gang for protection or risk being a target. And then there's the death row area, a place where prisoners wait for their final punishment. San Quentin's infamous death row is facing its own death sentence. The California Department of Corrections has now begun transferring. The feeling of being executed hangs over San Quentin like a dark cloud, making everyone inside feel scared and hopeless. At San Quentin, punishments hit hard and fast, leaving no room for leniency. What are you doing down here? Just, uh, sweeping. You're out of bounds, you understand that? From solitary confinement to physical beatings, Inmates learn quickly that disobedience comes with a heavy price. In the shadow of the Golden Gate Bridge, San Quentin stands as a testament to the dark side of humanity. For those trapped within its walls, every moment is a struggle for survival. In a world where fear rules supreme, enter the depths of terror if you dare, but heed this warning. Once you cross the boundary, there's no escape from the things of horror. Number three, Rikers Island, gateway to fear. Brace yourself for a third bone-chilling journey into Rikers Island as we uncover the horrors of Rikers Island, surrounded by dark waters. This place is a nightmare come to life, where every step fills your heart with dread and escape feels impossible, Rikers. It's like something out of a horror movie. You're always on edge, waiting for the next terrifying moment. It's a place that haunts you long after you've left, a scary spot where punishments are quick and really harsh. Prisoners could end up in dark, lonely cells or get beaten badly for breaking the rules. Inside Rikers, it's like a constant battle zone. Gangs rule the roost and violence is everywhere. Life inside Rikers Island is like living in a bad dream. 
convicts constantly fear for their safety due to gang violence and harsh treatment by guards. The conditions are harsh, with overcrowded cells and limited access to basic necessities. Every day is a struggle for survival in this unforgiving environment. It's enough to make your blood run cold, knowing that danger lurks around every corner. Even the guards can't escape the fear. They're always on high alert, knowing that one wrong move could spell disaster. It's a place where the line between order and chaos is razor thin. And if you dare to step out of line, the punishment is swift and brutal. Solitary confinement becomes your own personal trauma, a place where the darkness consumes you and the silence is deafening. In the heart of the East River, Rikers Island stands as a monument to fear. It's a place that makes your skin crawl and your heart race. Where every moment is filled with terror, enter if you dare. But know this, once you're inside, the dreadful never ends. Number four, Angola Prison, the Devil's Playground. Prepare to be gripped by terror as we uncover the horrors of Angola Prison, as we are getting into the adventure in the heart of darkness, located on the grounds of a former plantation. This sprawling complex in Louisiana is a place of despair and agony for its prisoners. This prison is not just a place of incarceration. It's a world unto itself, complete with its own church and even a rodeo arena. But don't let the facade fool you. Behind these walls lies a scary situation that few can understand. Angola is a place where hope goes to die. Life sentences are handed out like candy, and violence is a way of life. It's a place that breaks you down until there's nothing left but despair. Offenders at Angola endure really tough work. Just like the old days of plantations, they are forced to work hard with no care for well-being. It's a brutal life that's hard to even think it off. This is not just a regular jail, it's like its own little world of cruelty, where inmates inside are often subjected to extreme violence. They need to join a gang for protection when it becomes a matter of survival. Surrounded by miles of barren land, Angola Prison is a place of isolation and despair. Conflicts live in constant fear of violence from both fellow prisoners and guards alike. It's a world where the concept of humanity is lost amidst the chaos and suffering. Punishments at Angola are swift and severe with little mercy shown to those who dare to disobey. Solitary confinement, beatings, and even psychological torture are all too common, leaving inmates broken and defeated. In the heart of Louisiana, Angola Prison stands as a testament to the darkest depths of human cruelty. So this, this particular job is not one of the more uh, desired ones? No, this is like, this is the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Enter if you dare, but beware, once you're inside, there's no escaping the horrors that await. Number five, Pelican Bay, a dark journey. Prepare for the dark journey. Lock up your fears as we enter the reality of the Pelican Bay, uncovering the chilling realities of Pelican Bay State Prison. Nestled in California's rugged terrain, this fortress of fear is home to some of the state's most notorious gang members. Pelican Bay isn't your average jail. It's a fortress of solitude where prisoners are locked away in solitary confinement for up to 23 hours a day. But what goes on behind those walls will make your blood run cold. For staff and inmates alike within the California prison system. You go ahead, step back. Step back. Pelican Bay is like being buried alive. You're alone all the time, with nothing but your own thoughts to keep you company. It's enough to drive anyone crazy Life inside the offenders is such a terrible truth. They spend their days locked away in the secure housing units, isolated from the outside world. The constant solitude takes its toll, leading to psychological deterioration and a staggering rate of suicide attempts. The punishments are really scary. Being put in solitary confinement feels like being trapped in a never-ending horror trauma, with no one to talk to and darkness all around. Getting beaten up is like being hit by lightning, and it happens a lot. The mental torture messes with your head, making you feel like you're losing your mind. It's a frightening place where punishment is like a monster that never stops hunting you. 
But hold on, it's not just the isolation that makes Pelican Bay so terrifying. It's the violence that lurks around every corner. Gang members rule the roost, with turf wars and power struggles turning the prison into a battleground of terror. Surrounded by barren landscapes, Pelican Bay is a place of desolation and despair. Inmates live in constant fear of reprisal, knowing that one wrong move could cost them their lives. Asseyez-vous sur cette chaise. For those who can't take the pressure, escape seems like the only way out. But even death offers little solace in this house of horrors. In the core of California, Pelican Bay State Prison stands as a grim reminder of the darkness that lurks within the human soul. For those locked away within its walls, every day is a battle for survival in a world where hope is but a distant memory. Enter if you dare, but beware, once you're in, there's no way out of the Pelican Bay. Number six, Attica Prison, where shadows lurk. Prepare to confront the darkness within Attica Correctional Facility. As we delve into its depths, located in the heart of New York, this prison is a breeding ground for dread, where fear holds sway. Attica gained infamy in 1971 when a riot erupted, leaving 39 people dead. The Attica prison riot was a scary event. It was all over the news because it was so terrible. People died. The smoke would clear, and the prison was retaken. But even after that, things didn't get much better. The prison is still too full, and the way people live there is still really bad. This makes the people in prison really mad and upset. It's a big problem, but the anguish didn't end there. Overcrowding and dismal living conditions continue to torment prisoners, fostering a volatile environment. Attica is like a pressure cooker ready to explode. The overcrowding and the constant tension between inmates and guards it's a recipe for disaster. You never know when things are going to boil over. Prisoners at Attica live in constant fear, surrounded by the echoes of past violence and the ever-present threat of more to come. Tensions with guards run high, fueled by institutional brutality and a sense of hopelessness that pervades every corner of the prison. Attica is a bastion of fear where the cries of the oppressed echo through the halls. The inmates murdered nine of their white hostages. 28 convicts were killed by state troopers and sheriff's deputies who regained. It's a place where humanity is stripped away, leaving only the primal instinct to survive. And when tensions reach a boiling point, chaos ensues, engulfing everything in its wake. It's a scene straight out of a nightmare where reality and madness intertwine. In the heart of New York, Attica Correctional Facility stands as a monument to anguish and despair. For those locked away within its walls, Every day is a struggle against the shadows that lurk. Number seven, title Sing Sing, where fear rises with the tide. Get ready to get in the seven dark adventures of U.S. Jail Sing Sing Correctional Facility, where the waters of the Hudson carry a dark legacy of executions and violence, where water of the Hudson has more than just the current, where the very air is heavy with dread, towering stone walls encase Sing Sing, casting long shadows over those trapped within. Here, discipline is harsh and unforgiving, an iron grip that squeezes the life out of hope and replaces it with fear. This jail is like a nightmare you can't wake up from. The constant threat of violence and the cold brutality, it breaks you down piece by piece. What's inside and inside Sing Sing, danger lurks in every shadow from the guards' batons to the whispered threats of fellow inmates. The river of fear that flows through the facility taints everything it touches leaving scars that never fade. The fortress-like walls loom over the landscape, a stark reminder of the iron grip of authority. Within these walls, strict disciplinary measures reign supreme, creating an atmosphere of oppression that chokes the air with fear. The constant threat of violence in the harsh penalty, it's enough to break anyone. Surrounded by the murky waters of the Hudson, Sing Sing is a place where despair hangs heavy in the air choking out any hope of redemption. Inmates navigate the prison yard like ghosts, haunted by the specter of what lies ahead. The shadow of the gallows looms large, a grim reminder of the price of defiance in a place where the tide of fear never ebbs. Punishments in Sing Sing are swift and merciless, 
leaving offenders broken and battered. Solitary confinement becomes a living hell, where darkness consumes the soul and echoes of despair reverberate endlessly. Beatings rain down like thunder, each strike a cruel reminder of the brutality that lurks within these walls. So in New York, this jail correctional facility stands as a monument to terror and despair. Number eight, Folsom Prison, Echoes of Fear. Now we are heading towards the Folsom State Prison. Last but not the least, a place where nightmares come to life. Immortalized by Johnny Cash's haunting song, Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Folsom Prison Blues. This facility holds a dark reputation for its harsh conditions and rampant gang violence. Inside Folsom, the air is thick with tension, a palpable sense of fear that hangs heavy over every inmate. Gang activity runs rampant, with rival factions vying for control and violence erupting at a moment's notice. Consequences are really harsh. If you break the rules, they'll put you all alone in a tiny room for a long time. Sometimes they beat you up really bad too. It's scary and it makes everyone afraid to step out of line. They want to show everyone who's boss, so they punish anyone who tries to act tough. It's tough to watch and it's even tougher to go through. Folsom is like hell on earth. The constant threat of violence, the never-ending power struggles. It's enough to drive anyone mad. You gotta stop saying you're walking dead man. Really don't know why I see you. And it's like the old saying goes, out of sight, out of mind. Life behind the bars at Folsom is to live in fear. From the moment you wake up until the lights go out, every second is a battle for survival. The prison yard is a battlefield with inmates constantly watching their backs for signs of trouble, gangs rule with an iron fist, enforcing their will through fear and intimidation. But it's not just the inmates who live in fear at Folsom. Guards patrol the cell blocks with a watchful eye, ever wary of the next outbreak of violence. The tension is thick enough to cut with a knife, and everyone inside knows that one wrong move could be their last, surrounded by the rolling hills of California. Folsom Prison is a place of terror and despair. For those locked away within its walls, every day is a battle against the darkness that threatens to consume them. Enter if you dare, but beware once you're inside, there's no escaping the echoes of fear that haunt Folsom. Number nine, between hops and hardships, tales from Leavenworth. Leavenworth Penitentiary in Kansas is one of the oldest federal prisons in the United States, and it has a tough reputation. This prison is known for its very strict rules and a heavy focus on discipline. People who are in this prison have to work hard for many hours and often spend a lot of time alone, which can make them feel very sad and without hope. Leavenworth Penitentiary was known for very tough punishments. People there often had to be alone for a long time, which could make them feel very upset or stressed. They also had to do really hard work, like breaking rocks or other tough jobs as a way to punish them. If someone, if someone broke the rules, they could lose their privileges. The idea behind the hard work and strict conditions is to try and teach the prisoners discipline and hopefully change their behavior. However, this method is sometimes seen as very tough and not the best way to help people change. Leavenworth is not just a prison, it's a part of history. It has been around for a long time and has seen many changes in how prisons are run. Even though it's known for being a hard place, it also plays a role in trying to keep people safe by keeping those who have broken the law away from the public. Alert, stay away. Because once you get in, you will never get back. Number 10, Supermax, the isolation of Fortress. So my brave viewers, let's get into another adventure of the heart of darkness itself. Supermax, Colorado, the United States Penitentiary Administrative Maximum Facility, an interesting fact about Supermax is that it houses some of the most notorious criminals, including terrorists, spies, and gang leaders. What makes it unique? It is its location, nestled in the remote, rugged terrain of the Colorado mountains, adding an extra layer of isolation from the outside world. This is a place where the country's most dangerous individuals are kept away from the world. In Supermax, isolation rules where prisoners find themselves confined alone for 23 hours a day in stark concrete cells. The only window, a slice of sky, a distant memory of the outside world. 
Human contact is a concept, not a reality, minimized to the hands that slide meals through a slot in the door. The silence is deafening, only the echo of one's own thoughts for company. The security here is the tightest in the land, walls upon walls, cameras at every corner, and guards watching every breath escape. A fantasy more impossible than the most far-fetched dream. For one hour a day, the outside world becomes slightly more than a concept, as inmates are allowed into a small, cage-like area. Even the sun struggles to pierce the gloom of their existence. Supermax, Colorado. Not just a prison, but a fortress of solitude and despair. Here the shadows whisper tales of isolation and the human spirit tested to its limits. And there you have it, the 10 most dangerous jails in the United States. From solitary confinement to gang violence, these facilities represent the darkest corners of the American justice system. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more chilling content.